it's Milani, and it's time for Music with Milani, part of WPSU's virtual summer camps. ukulele and I'm in the beautiful gazebo behind the Holidays Burg Area Public Library listening to birds and the theme for the summer is kind of about travel because we'll be traveling to various places and learning about them on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mondays will be music, Tuesdays will be cooking, what are Wednesdays? Let me look at my paper. Wednesdays are Wednesday walks. How could I forget that? Thursdays are Thursday STEM, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. And then Friday is art. So I hope you come to visit with all the people who are helping to do WPSU's virtual summer camps. And I have a song, and the song is about traveling. So, when we got together last time, we were talking about patterns, and there are patterns in music, and some of the patterns have to do with the chords. I make the shapes with my fingers, and they turn into different sounds. We take those different sounds and we put them all together and they turn into the background of a song. Well, I'm going to show you the chord changes for a song. someone kind of traveling when you write a song or you make a song or you hear a song pay attention to how those chord changes happen because often they give you a feeling a feeling of something happening and in this case oh we just traveled did you feel that so let's do this with the words you might know this song I'll slow it down a little bit it goes like this I love to go a wandering along the mountain track. And as I go, I love to sing my knapsack on my back. Now listen for the patterns. Valderie, Valdera, Valderie, Valdera, <laughs> Valderie. the song. Okay, so let's hear what happens next. I love to wander by the stream that dances in the sun. So joyously it calls to me, come join my happy song. Then we go back, and you already know this part. Valderie, Valderie. the laughing part. Valderah, <laughs> Valderie, Valderah, my knapsack on my back. When you hear that laughing part, please laugh with me because that just makes it so much more fun. So there's still one more thing to happen. Oh no, there's two more. The next part has a hat in it. I wave my hat to all I meet and they wave back to me and blackbirds call so loud and sweet from every green wood tree ready valderie valdera valderie ready to laugh valdera <laughs> valderie I just made myself laugh because that laughing part was so funny. Okay, so this is the last part of the song. And this is the part where we just hope we go traveling and wandering and seeing things 
all the time for our whole life long. Doesn't that sound great? Okay, here we go. Oh, may I go a wandering until the day I die. It's pretty long, I hope. Oh, may I always laugh and sing beneath the clear blue sky. Ready? Valderi, Valdera, Valderi, Valdera, Valderi. Did you hear how the birds were singing while we sang the blackbird part? From every green wood tree. So nice. See you in a minute for the next song. So you can hear behind me the birds are still chirping and chirping away. It's starting to be night and pretty soon the stars will be out and it will be beautiful outside. It will be too dark for me to record some video with you. So instead of waiting till it's dark out, we'll, we'll record this song now. But this is a song that maybe cowboys would sing when they're sitting along a campfire and the stars are out and the birds are probably chirping behind them. Okay, birds, we get it. There's a lot of you. All right. <laughs> and this song has deer and antelope in it. Do you know what it is already? I think you do. Okay. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. Maybe some animals that you don't normally see. Antelope. How many of you have seen an antelope in your backyard? Uh, since I'm talking to you from Pennsylvania, probably not very many. But deer. The deer and the antelope. You may have seen deer in a public place, in your backyard, going across a field, maybe next to the road when you're driving somewhere with your grown-up. So that song was called Home on the Range, if you couldn't tell. And that is kind of a song about wide open spaces, going somewhere peaceful, being there at night, seeing beautiful stars, and seeing animals. I like all of those things. All right, let's go to the next song. Well, so far we've done songs that someone else has written, and then I learned the chords on the ukulele, baritone ukulele, and then I played them for you and sang the words that go along with it. Well, what if we did a song and it just, we made it up ourselves? Okay, are you ready? Okay, so let's do a song about things that we like to do outside. Since we're talking about traveling, where's the first place that you usually go when you step outside your door? That's right, your front yard or your backyard or your side yard, the yard of your house. What are some things that you do in the yard while you play? What if you don't really have many toys out there or swing sets or things to play with? You have yourself and you have the yard. 
what do you do? I hope most of you say run around because that's exactly what I did when I was your age and I still do it myself a little bit. So uh, what's the simplest way to use the word run? Well, we'll just say run. Run and a run and a run and a run. Oh, I can kind of hear a pattern in that. Run and a run and a run and a run. Can you hear that? Oh, we could clap it. Run and a run and a run and a run. Okay, so we're running. And why do we run? We run because it's fun. I heard someone say that. Very good. And how long do you want to run? You want to run all day. Good. I heard somebody say that. Now, what's, a, what's something that rhymes with the word day that has to do with running around outside and having fun? Day rhymes with play. You guys are so smart. I'm so glad that you are paying attention and having fun with me. So now that we've done that, we have run and a 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 run. Okay, that's probably very simple. Uh, run and a run and a run and a run and a run because it's fun. <laughs> run and a 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 run all day. What did we rhyme with day? Do you remember? That's right, play. I love to run. It's lots of fun. It's a very good way to play. Oh my gosh, we just made up a song. Well, wait, what's the part that's missing? That's right, we're missing the chords. So we have the words, we have a pattern, and now we need some chords to go with it. Sometimes people start with the chords. I like to start with the words. That's a good chord. What's another chord? All right, I like that one too. Um, I still like that chord. And let's go back to the first one. Okay, so uh, we're on this chord. And this is making it feel like we need to go somewhere. And, ooh, we went somewhere else. But now we need, need to come back. And um, then we need to wind it up and come back to where we started from, which was here. Could you hear that? So... Like it. And we went somewhere. Oh, that sounds good. Now we add the words to it and how did we do it? Run and a run and a run and a run. Oh, hear how they fit together? Let's try it. Run and a 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 run. Run and a run and a run and a run and a run because it's fun. Run and a 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 run all day. I love to run. It's lots of fun. It's a very good way to play. Oh my gosh, we just made a song. Do you think we want to stop there? Heck no. So what comes after running? I like to run, I like to jump. If we did run and a run, what do you think we'll do for jump? Jump and a jump. Oh my gosh, you are so smart. So let's, let's speed up the process a little bit here. Let's see if you can figure out what the rhyming words will be at the ends of the line. Are you ready? Okay. Jump and a 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 jump. Jump and a jump, do not fall, do not bump. If you bump, you will get a lump. <laughs> jump and a 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 jump all day. See, I did all day again. I love to jump over sticks and stumps. It's a very good way to, you know this one, play. Well, we did run and a run, jump and a jump. What might come after that? You could swim, that's true. Not everybody has a pool in their backyard. Could you drag some? You could, yes, you could drag something. Throw, let's not throw something, not right now. Things you can do with yourself. I guess you could throw yourself, but no, let's not do that. How about roll? So we did run and a run, jump and a jump, roll and a roll. 
Here we go. Roll and a 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 roll. Ah! How do we do this one? And a roll and a roll and a roll. <laughs> roll and a roll like a ball or a ball and a roll and a roll and a roll. Roll and a 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 roll all day. I love to roll like a ball or a ball. It's a very good way to play. Hey, that worked out very well. How fast do you think we can do it? Pretty fast. Okay, here's run. Run and a 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 run. Run and a run and a run and a run and a run because it's fun. Run and a 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 run all day. I love to run. It's lots of fun. It's a very good way to play. What came next? It was jump. Jump and a 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 jump. Jump and a jump. Do not fall. Do not bump. If you bump, you will get a lump. Jump and a 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 jump all day. I love to jump over sticks and stumps. That's a very good way to play. What came last? Roll. Roll and a 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 roll. Roll and a roll like a ball or a roll and a roll and a roll and a roll. Roll and a 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 roll all day. I love to roll like a ball or a roll. It's a very good way to play. Very good. Could you think of some more lines yourself? I bet you could. Especially that you now know the pattern. Like that bird. That was a cat bird. They like to go, Now it's not gonna do it. Well, we did a song all about motions, and now let's do a song all about fish and colors. start with four fish and we're gonna start with a red fish and in the middle of the song all of a sudden I'm going to say bubble 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 pop and did you see what I did with my hand bubble 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 pop this pop was a bubble breaking the surface of the water so we have four little red fish swimming in the water and it goes like this Four little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. And you do this, bubble, 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 pop. And we do four times, bubble, 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 pop. That was the third time, bubble, 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 pop. There's four fish. So let's do three little fish. And what color should we make them this time? Yellow. Yellow is a good color. Okay. Here's three little yellow fish. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. That was the first fish. Bubble, 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 pop. That was the second fish. Bubble, 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 pop. Three fish. How many fish do we have left? Two. Uh, what color shall we make this? We did a red fish. We did a yellow fish, blue fish, two little blue fish, okay. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. That was the first fish. Bubble, 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 pop. We're down to one fish. What color should this fish be? Purple, okay. One little purple fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little purple fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. That was very good. Ready for another song? Okay. Can you hear what's behind us now? So earlier in our visit, we had birds, and the birds were chirping and making a lot of noise. Now, we have something very, did you see that go over my head? We have something very special going on here at a public park in Hollidaysburg, which is where I'm taping to you. And there are cicadas everywhere. They're flying by. They're in the grass. They're on the trees. 
and they are all making that loud humming, thrumming, buzzing sound that you can hear behind me. They almost look like tiny little birds as they fly by. I hope that some will fly by us as we do our next fun musical thing. So we're going to do a song and we're going to have the cicadas be part of the song. Uh, you might not know much about cicadas, but you'll know a little more by the time we're done. And we're just gonna make it up. I'm gonna sometimes point at you and if you have an idea for what the next word might be, I want you to tell it to me, okay? All right. And the cicadas sometimes get softer and sometimes get louder, so I might be extra loud just so everyone can hear me. Cicadas, how are you? You're very, very loud. Cicadas, don't seem to like to be by themselves. They like to be in a crowd. And when they are singing, they make a lot of noise. Cicadas do not really need a lot of fancy toys. Ah, oh, that's so good. They make their music on the trees and on the ground. They fly straight or they can go around. You heard that rhyme coming, didn't you? What else can we say about cicadas? They like to fly. They also like to crawl. They like to chew on the vegetation. But that is not all. As they are chewing, they suck out all the juice and then nature takes over and they release all the juice. Don't step under a tree when there's a lot of cicadas in the tree. That was my delicate way of saying they like to, what rhymes with tree? P. That's what I said. Also, cicadas do not always come out. They crawl out of the ground and climb up a tree and start sucking on the tree. But when they're done, they whoop and shriek and shout. The shouting of the cicadas is a natural thing they do. If you see a cicada, please do not step on it with your shoe. They're just doing what they like. They don't know that it's inconvenient. How am I going to rhyme with inconvenient? A cicada just went behind us. You know what? Hold the song. I'll be right back. Where did you go, cicada? Okay, so I'm behind the camera, and if you look, there's a cicada on the chair, on the left top part of the chair. I'm going to go over to it and not scare it and show it to you. It just flew. Did you see? It was right here and then it flew. Well, I wanted to get a cicada for you, not to hurt it, just to show it to you. There went another one over my head so that you could see it close up I'll just show you a close-up of a cicada on a tree where it feels comfortable. Okay, so where we were, we were... Oh, I was trying to find a rhyme for the word inconvenient. Guess what? I couldn't think of one. Can you? Anybody think of a rhyme for the word inconvenient? No? Okay. So we'll finish the song and we'll, we'll pick a different word. Is that allowed? Oh, yes, of course it is. Okay. Cicadas do what they like. They don't know that we don't always like it. Could we rhyme something with like it? What rhymes with like it? I don't know. Okay, so let's try a different rhyme instead. Okay. Cicadas do what they like. It's what they're designed to do. I don't know about you, but I think better 
get done, and then be through because they are really, really loud. Yeah, I think that's all we can do. Oh, that should have been the rhyme. I think that's all that we can do. A cicada song in the middle of the cicada wilderness in a park, and it's so loud I can't even hear myself think. Let's go somewhere that we can hear ourselves for the last song, okay. Well, it decided to rain a whole lot, and so we're doing our last song, Inside. And so, did I tell you what we're doing this summer? Every single week there will be a different theme. And every single week the theme will be a different place, a different place on the earth. The first one is Antarctica. Do you know what Antarctica is? We're going to after this song. You're going to know at least a little bit more than you did. So Antarctica is a place that has a lot of ice. And people know that the South Pole is there. It's on the bottom of our globe. It is not the North Pole. The North Pole is the Arctic up top. On the bottom is the South Pole, Antarctica. They are two different places. Okay. What has lots and lots of ice? There is no grass, there are no trees. There are no flowers full of pollen that can make you want to sneeze. It is cold and windy and dry. Although it's also full of snow, it is very, very cold. There's no colder place we know on Earth. This is Antarctica. No one really lives there. It's mostly scientists. This is Antarctica. It has no polar bears. People think polar bears live in Antarctica. They don't, okay? This is Antarctica. It has research stations and no cities. This is Antarctica. It attracts scientists from many nations. There's a whole lot of water on our planet. Most of it's locked up in ice in Antarctica, which is our southernmost continent. That means it's at the very bottom of the earth. With the South Pole has a lot of life but no amphibians or reptiles. Though there are a lot of birds, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of penguins. If I were to name them all, it would take a lot of words. There's lots and lots of penguins. This is Antarctica. They do not use dog sleds. This is Antarctica. They use motor vehicles instead. Although it's cold there, they still have volcanoes. They have at least two. And the lowest temperature recorded on Earth, it's like uh, minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Did I mention research stations? This place is classified as a desert because so little water falls from the sky, much less than the Sahara Desert. And, and that's really, really dry. So the desert has sand, Antarctica has ice. Big winds create the blizzards that then blow and blow the snow. Isn't Antarctica really interesting? It's an interesting place, we know. This is Antarctica. No one really goes there except for scientists and some tourists. This is Antarctica. You would freeze your nose there. This is Antarctica. It has research stations, about 70 of them. This is Antarctica. A really awesome working place for scientists of all nations. That was our Antarctica song. There are a lot more facts about Antarctica, but you'll learn some of them 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday as you eat like a penguin, learn about Penn's Cave, learn about climate, do some ice art. So with WPSU's virtual summer camp, we wish you to see you next time. Bye.